Hey YouTube, today I'm going on, uh, I did an, uh, a second mod modification on my D1 spec oil catch can. If you you're following my channel, you already seen this. If you did not, well, go to my channel and find that modification for my catch can. Second mod is adding a copper tubing to the inlet of the catch can. By the way, this copper tube looks quarter of an inch. It's free in the inlet, as you can see, but, sorry, by hammering a drill bit, screwdriver bit, sorry, into the hole, just to expand a bit the end of the tube here. It is tight. Uh, I started first with uh, make it that end bigger to make it tight in the inlet after I bended it and after I did a series of holes that are going to be deep in the steel wool in the can as somebody uh, suggested in uh, my other video. Uh, after the holes I sand everything uh, and uh, blast it with the uh, compressed air just to make sure there's nothing uh, gonna get into the motor via the air intake. So As you can see, no, it's tight. <sighs> okay. Mm, it goes like this and like this. Okay, that would be. Okay, and now just to make sure that it won't move, I'm going to take pliers and try to uh, pry. And the tubing, so it's going to be tight right there. Yeah, it's still moving, but I don't think it will go anywhere, anyways. I didn't find any tubing to fit, and especially it has to go uh, inside, or I can fit something in here, maybe a small piece of cup, copper, wait.
I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, maybe yes. You won't be able to see this. Okay, wait. Why not use a small screw here? Okay, I'm going to use a small Jeep Rock screws. Even if the screw uh, falls, it won't go into the motor. like it's too big. Oh, it's there pretty tight now. It's not going anywhere. So this is my mod for this video. Thanks for watching.